ETSU hosted a unique event called Holding Court, which was hosted by ESPN's Jay Billis. The event had four coaches on stage with Billis, current ETSU head coach Murray Bartow, and three retired coaches, Les Robinson, Sonny Smith, and Bobby Crimmins. Plus, three current coaches were FaceTime in. From Duke was coach Mike Krzyzewski, from Gonzaga was Mark Few, and John Calipari of Kentucky. A common theme brought all the coaches together, their relationship with the Bartow family. Well, I love East Tennessee State. I love Johnson City. The athletic director here was my athletic director for 11 years at VCU. He was the best I've ever had. Murray Bartow's father and I were very, very close friends. Murray and I have been very close friends. I pull extremely hard for East Tennessee State because of those two gentlemen. And it's really, it, it's really easy for me to say good things and, and do things for East Tennessee State because I do it with my heart. Yeah, well, I'm here because of Murray Bato. I, I knew his dad. His dad uh, was a great man. And when I was a young coach, he was so nice to me. And Murray and I have gotten to know each other through golf, through his father. And we, uh, we coach against each other. And um, so I'm, I'm here for Murray. I competed against East Tennessee State. Um, but I'm really happy they're going back to the Southern Conference. Well, first of all, I hope the people there know that your dad was one of the great coaches, the great builder of young men, the great builder of programs. Took Memphis to a Final Four, had to follow John Wood. What? Goes to Birmingham, Alabama. They didn't have a basketball, let alone a basketball program. And all of a sudden you turn around and he's in the Elite Eight. What are you talking about? Always a true gentleman. I take the job at Memphis. Now, he always treated me when I was at UMass with great respect. And I was really young. Like you all look at me now, I'm really old. Back then I was really young. And, but he always treated me with unbelievable respect, and I didn't know why. And people started telling me he treats everybody that way, so I thought he was being special to me. But I get the Memphis job. You have to understand, if he ran for mayor of Memphis, at any point from the time he left till he he'd have won. He'd have won. He was loved. And you know what he did? He accepted me so that the city would accept it. Because I was an outsider. If you know Memphis, it's a hard town now. You know, if you're an outsider coming in, they're not so forgiving there. Now, what he did was take me to lunch. He wanted people to see me with him. Um, he did dinners with me anywhere he went. And then he talked highly of me, and I couldn't believe it. Here's a guy that coached there, uh, built the program, treated me with, uh, and we became great friends because of it. He was a mentor. Um, you know, basketball, uh, he was with the Grizzlies, he and I were together many, many times, and, and, and your mother used to come up to Memphis, so again, I, I tried to, uh, when he got sick, to make sure I was down there for him, and uh, I miss him to this day, I still pray for him daily, and, and your family, and I, I called your mom, and you said 7.30, I said, I get out of Mass at 8.30, I forgot Birmingham's an hour and a half, so. <laughs> That's right, I had the right time, but... <clears throat> You know, I, uh, your dad was a good man, and I miss him every day. Reporting for the Buccaneer Sports Network, I'm Jay Sandoz.